I have Mr. Antonio Gomez. Hello, kind sir. Great to see you, Amanda. You are the Director of Community Engagement and Extended Learning at our beloved Tacoma Arts Live. Mm -hmm. And you brought with you somebody who never sleeps, which you can never tell. Look at that face. Mari Griffin, Founder and Event Director of Black Knight Market. I see you all the time, everywhere, and I do. My mother heart goes, when does she sleep? <laughs> And you're like, well, sleep is overrated. Look at all the good I'm giving back to Tacoma. <laughs> so let's talk about this. Um, we are looking at Tacoma Black Knight Market and Tacoma Arts Live coming together at the historic Tacoma Armory. Tony, many people pass by the Armory, and sometimes I believe they're not familiar with the renaissance that's happening there. Kind of fill us in so we can sharpen our vision. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're so excited about kind of this new life of the Armory. Um, it is like a fortress-like building that people see from the exterior, but inside what's happening is we're on a mission to create a hub for arts, culture, and community. And that includes the work that Tacoma Arts Live is doing, but also partnerships with incredible organizations yes. like Mari at Black Night Market. And so it's like, what can we create together to, um, to build up activities? So you walk into the Armory, uh, you might go for a public event upstairs, but downstairs there's arts organizations and other creative uh, organizations that are um, rehearsing, planning, um, developing new content. So we're really excited. We're really excited to to do some literally out of the box, yes. uh, outside the armory, on the street events with Mari coming up. Boy, boy, did you pick the most supreme goddess to partner with because um, this woman doesn't miss a beat. The next big event is Sunday, September 8th. Now I want to make it clear, today is the 5th mm -hmm. uh, and this event is on the 8th and the vision behind this with us, Mari, is a soul food festival. What can we expect? What are the details and what should we eat? Um, so the Soul Food Festival is for highlighting BIPOC owned food businesses that our community does not have access to all the time. Um, so what you can expect is about 20 plus food vendors, food trucks, and live performances. Um, so we have the soul food and then the soulful music. So. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. You got the Soul Food Festival, which is again Sunday. Then there's this mysterious piece over here called the Lemon Sessions, mm -hmm. not to be confused with the Lemon Sisters. Okay, right. uh, and so it's it's from September 12th to 15th, right around mm -hmm. the corner. Mm -hmm. Tony, what is it? It sounds like a recipe for something, but I, I know it can't be that. It is, is very, uh, again, kind of outside of normal performance type work. Um, so some folks might remember the Imagine Monet immersive exhibition yes. that we did. And so we had built this giant oval in the armory with these huge 16 foot walls and 360 degree immersive projection of art. And so that's what we set up for these touring exhibitions for Monet. And then we're like, why don't we keep it up and feature local and regional artists? So I'm really excited to say that the Lemon Session is gonna be the first immersive feature of a regional Washington artist, Angelina Villalobos Soto, who, uh, AKA 179, came up as a graffiti artist and muralist in South Seattle, okay. is the featured visual artist. So her art will be projected 360 degrees. Wow. And then every day of the lemon session, by the way, we call it the lemon sessions because the big oval is like a lemon. That's what the there staff we calls go. it. Yeah. And, uh, but every day there's a different type of performance. So one night is um, a hip hop night with b-boy and b-girl um, dance, uh, MCs, uh, Triple Nickel's gonna be doing uh, uh, a cypher, an MC cypher, DJ. Uh, then another night is a completely different experience. It is, a, it is an all women acapella Baltic choir, Magi Ensemble. Wow. And we're just gonna fill that space with incredible resonance. We've got a new, a new music night with Gretchen Yenover doing electric cello with looping. Um, James and Tracy wow. Doyle doing chamber okay, music. Okay, you're giving too much away here yeah, because sorry. now they're going to go, okay, yes, 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 and, you know. Yeah. Mari, mm -hmm. he has a full roster of things. Yes. I mm -hmm. know your event company has more to come at <laughs> yes. the Armory. Yes, yes, Can you fill us in? Yeah, so we have the Soul Food Festival this Sunday. Um, from there on, we have, actually, we have Poetry After Dark, September 28th, and then we have our holiday markets um, throughout October 
to December. So. Oh, and the holiday markets are fabulous. Mm -hmm. um, put a GoPro on your head and walk me through what I would see at the holiday market. So the holiday markets are going to be different. It's going to be catered to like each theme. So in October, we're working on some like trick or treat installations um, so that kids can come and dress up and get candy and play games. Um, during November, there it's a co collaboration with a. Uh, the Native Fashion Show. Oh, uh, yes, 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 yes. Um, then we have a Christmas themed where you can take pictures of Black Santa and also engage in some activities as well. I love that. Like I said, I don't. I just don't think you ever sleep. I um, sleep. What a gift you are to us, <laughs> um, Tony. Um, there are some other events to happening in the Armory. Let's talk about Festival Latinx. Yes, yes. So October twelfth, Saturday, October twelfth, from. 12 to 5 is a festival we'll be returning with uh, Festival Latinx with Latinx Unidos del South Sound. So it's yes. a community, a, another community partnership. And um, and the name actually of the festival is changing to Festival Herencia Latina, which mm -hmm. means L uh, Latino Heritage Festival. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you say that so beautifully yeah. too. Um, do these instruments have anything to do yes. with this festival coming up? Yes, you know I'm always going to bring you show and are. tell. You are. Um, so the theme for uh, festival. Smack something real quick because okay. we got to hear it before we run All out right. of time. This is a tempo Natsli. Ooh, and then that. I'll do a really quick bird. Call. This is a wolf call. So and birds calling wolves. Okay, <laughs> yeah. things are getting crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So how does how does that fill in in the festival? Will people get to hear those instruments? Yes, actually, yeah. The the theme this year is around the indigenous roots of Latinidad, or the kind of the, the indigenous heritage that's part of being Latino American. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we'll be working with a lot of artists who uh, to focus on that heritage. All right. And then there's another program that keeps kind of bumping around in my head called Ace. Mm -hmm. What is Ace? Well, ACE is the way that we uh, have been able to connect with organizations Ooh. like Black Night Market. Um, and so Mari was one of the founding members uh, of ACE. ACE is an accelerator and incubator for BIPOC and women-owned uh, creative enterprise. Oh, my goodness. What does ACE st uh, stand for? Accelerating. Oh. Go ahead. Tony. Oh, he's going to say Accelerating Creative Enterprise. There we go. Do you have T-shirts yet? I don't think so. Not think yet, but you, come black. on, you've yeah. got black Black Knight Market t-shirts, so I you got, have you got to have like an ace on there or something with a really cool graphic. Who do we need to thank? And I'm going to have both of you do thank yous in this last minute. Mari, go ahead. Um, well, I want to thank Tacoma Arts Live and the ACE program because they've supported me since I've joined, and my community and our supporters and volunteers. So. I love that. As we're showing some beautiful sights here for all the things that you two each have your soul print on. And Tony, who would you like to thank? Of course, I want to thank uh, the staff and community partners, but also everyone who comes out for live events because that is the yes. fabric that makes Tacoma so special. It absolutely is. I mean, and the, the planning on this, as I look at this, I mean, the planning starts at least a year out, doesn't it? And and when you get people to say yes, it doesn't mean they're going to be available at that time. So. I've just sealed the deal. Neither one of you sleep. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today, and I can't wait to see you at the festival. All right, Miss Holly, are you ready for you to be doing some crafting with me? Absolutely. All right, uncap the glue sticks. Here I come, <laughs> sister. We're ready we'll for be you. with Holly and myself. You can't miss that when we come right back. <laughs>